Dan Pope in for Allison Krogan tonight. And Dan, uh, it's cold out there tonight, so if anybody's trick-or-treating, they're not only doing it late, but they're running the risk of freezing their candy. That's right. Candy's all important. Got to make sure that candy stays warm. Or maybe not too warm, or it might melt. Hey, speaking of cold, up American Fort Canyon, this is so cool to see. Get the pun? All right, there are lots of places where what we call hoarfrost forms. It's something that's dangerous for avalanche conditions, but she took a, a number of amazing photographs and some videos. You can see them on Utah's uh, Weather Authority Facebook page, but I'm gonna just show you one of them. I'm gonna back away here and let you take a look at that. Look at those crystals that are forming on a stick or on a, a branch going up. Beautiful, beautiful pictures there. Melody, thank you very much for sharing those with us. Okay. Storms moving away. Outside right now, 37. Winds have died down a bit, but they are still strong across southern Utah. I expect that to continue tonight and tomorrow morning, maybe even through the midday. Here's our temperatures around the region, Roosevelt. They always say to the weatherman, the weather person, the weather gal, the weather girl, get out of the way. I can't see eastern Utah. So I'm going to get out of the way so you can see all of eastern Utah. Rock Springs, 26. Brigham City, 32. Elk goes down to 22. Here's our storm forecast. As this storm drops down into New Mexico, we're left with a ridge of high pressure, good travel conditions region-wide. Most of you probably are only traveling maybe 100 miles at most, maybe 200, or just around the corner, 50 miles. No problems for travel for you on Thanksgiving Day. Friday looks good as well, with the Pacific Northwest starting to turn a little bit turbulent. And that cold front moves by and brings us just a shot of quick, maybe like today, just a brief snow shower in the morning. Uh, don't think that'll be a problem for travel except for across Wyoming. Now that storm in the Pacific Northwest gets angry. And as it does, it deepens and brings us snow on Monday morning. That's a commuter special. And it doesn't go very far by Monday afternoon, so a double-sided commuter special even on Tuesday by 9 a.m. Looking at snow across the eastern part of the state and lingering snow showers along the Wasatch Front. The next storm coming in, a warm front on Thursday morning, followed by Thursday afternoon kind of improving, but here comes that storm on Friday with another one out in the Pacific. We'll have to see how that all plays out. But again, stormier next week. 27 and frosty tonight. Those of you who are heading out to uh, do the football, Turkey football tomorrow looking good, sunny, 42, the ground's kind of hard. Temperature-wise, 40s and 30s across the north with 50s in St. George. Those winds will persist tonight, tomorrow morning. Upper 50s, there you go. Ah, big storm, windy Monday night, Tuesday, stormy, very stormy. The Wasatch Front, 42, 45, 44. And then as uh, we move towards Monday, there's that storm, snow, turning colder, 32 for a high, a low of 18, and that's really cold.